Hey, Bob of Done Right Services. This is Matthew with FreePrescriptionLenses.com, and I'm going to show you how I cut bifocal transition lenses for your brand new Ray-Ban 2132, the new Wayfair color 901L, which is the classic black and a 55 eye size. Let us begin. I'm going to take your frame out of the original packaging. Here is your Italian leather Ray-Ban case. Let me pull that down. Pardon if I missed anything. This is your Ray-Ban cleaning cloth. And this is your frame, exactly the way that Ray-Ban sends it to me with a little plastic sleeve on the left temple. They do that to avoid scratching during shipping. If they think it's a good idea to put one on one side, well, I'm going to put one on the other so it will have twice the protection when I ship it to you. So I'm going to take all that off now. Let me go ahead and begin. I'm going to pop your original heavy glass lenses out of your frame. The, the weight of your frame is now half to a third of what it was just a moment ago. I'm just going to clean out any debris and I'm going to put your Italian frame into my Italian Santa Nelly. It is the LE1000 patternless edger. The stylus has just popped up and it's going to trace the shape of your left lens and it's going to move over and trace the shape of your right lens. Here at FreePrescriptionLenses.com where everyone loves a bargain and no one is disappointed with quality. You buy a genuine authentic Ray-Ban frame and you get free clear single vision prescription lenses or non-prescription fashion lenses, whatever you're choosing. Of course, you pay the upgrade to the bifocal with transition. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to pull your shape up on the computer. I'm going to type in the pupillary distance. I'm going to manually decenter the bifocal height over on my blocker. I'll explain that in a moment. This is a polycarb lens. I'm going to cut on the soft cycle for a Xyl frame, which is an old school name for plastic. And I know from advance that the 55 has a deeper bevel than the 52 that I wear. I'm wearing in the color 6053, which is the blue crystal. It's great with the blue shirt with pinstripes. That's why I'm wearing it today. I pop my lens out of a different frame and put them into a different color every day. So let's go ahead and begin. This is actually, let me get the right material. There we go. Now this is one of your lenses. I'll take them both out. This is your right lens before I begin. So I'm going to put that into my speedy blocker. This is actually a block that's going to hold it in place on the lathe while it is cutting. 3M, the same people who make post-it notes, make double-sided adhesives for the optical world. I'm going to place the black side is the sticky side. I'm going to stick that onto the block, pull away the tape on this side making it sticky, and then essentially what I've got is an optical crosshair. I'm measuring the vertical meridian as well as the horizontal meridian. I'm just making sure your bifocal line is perfect on there. It's four millimeters below the center, which will keep it out of your way when you're trying to look at things. No correction in the top. It is Plano, meaning non-prescription, with a plus 175 in the bottom. So I'm going to get everything lined up again on this one. Make sure the, the heights of both are matching, and we are good to go. So that is your left lens. This is your right lens. I'm going to put it into the Chuck, or as I like to say, the Charles because I don't know it well enough to call it Chuck. But the first thing that's going to happen is these calipers are going to come down and it's going to trace the shape of your right lens onto the back surface of the right lens to make sure it's large enough to cut out. It's tracing the concave side first, the back surface which is closest to your eyelashes. Then it's going to move over and trace the convex side, the front surface which sits away from the face. The actual cutting wheel is down here on the bottom. It's that heavy grit sandpaper essentially that's going to grind away your lens material and this wheel in the center with that little channel that valley that's what's going to cut the bevel onto the lens so it stays inside the bevel of the frame i will have to close the door as this is cutting but for now i just want you to see as your bifocal transitions as it touches down onto the cutting wheel now your lenses will have ultraviolet A and UVB protection. We know what the sun's harmful ultraviolet rays can do to your skin from overexposure. Your eyes are eight times more sensitive than your skin. So you have permanent sunscreen for your eyes now whenever you are wearing these. Of course, they're gonna be clear at the top with 175 reading glasses at the bottom. Plus Bob, year, a few years from now, should you ever need a different prescription, I can send them right to your home and after watching this video, you'll be able to pop your lenses in and out, just like I do.
So the water is to keep any optical debris, any optical sawdust down. <clears throat> this is the outside of your right lens. As you notice, your lens is completely flat, just like a nickel. If I were to take it up out, it would stand up on its own. But before the end of this cycle, the, the bevel will go on there, which is a knife-like edge, so it stays inside the bevel of the frame. But for now, your, the edge of your lens is completely flat. Now it's getting the, the safety bevel, well, they're just the bevel. And when it comes out, I'll put the safety bevel on there. So as a plus 175 reader, that puts you in the mid to late 40s. I know because I'm 47, I wear a 175 also. I need some distance correction in the top, but I need a 175 in the bottom so I can tighten those screws in the frame. When I need to see a black screw in a black frame, couldn't do it without my 175s. And that's in addition to my distance prescription, which I need now. Not only do your lenses have both UVA and UVB protection, but they come with a very hard scratch coating to prevent scratches. Nothing on God's green planet is scratch proof, but this puts a great coating on there to prevent it from happening. So, I dried your lens off so it wouldn't be slippery, but you still have a little bit of rough edges. So I'm gonna use my hand stone, which is completely flat. I can put my finger on it while it's running and my finger gets warm due to the friction. But it's that friction that allows me to put, put on what's known as the safety bevel. That's where I just go around the outside of the lens and sand down any rough spurs you may have going around. Now to get your lens mounted, I hold the frame upright with the temples pointing downward. The side I'm working on is closest to me. I'm not trying to reach across the frame to pop them in. The side I'm working on is always here. It's always with your thumb. It's always at the nose. You press down with your thumbs at the nose. I tuck it into the outside corner closest to me and then I just push down with my thumbs at the nose and it snaps right in. So I'm going to do the same thing now with the left. I'm going to flip that over and hit start. And just like before, the caliper is going to come down, but this time they're going to trace the left side of your frame onto the left lens to make sure it's large enough to cut out. Just like before, starting with the concave rear surface closest to your eyes first, and then it's going to move over and trace the convex side, the outside surface, the front surface of the lens. If I could override this, I would. It would save me a minute on every lens, but this is just a routine procedure, hardwired into the machine. But people have emailed me to say they like it when it goes round and round. So, hey, got to keep the people happy. So as this starts to begin cutting on your left lens, I'm going to continue to work on your right. So this block is no longer needed. I'm going to pop this off. I'm going to pull this sticker off. I'm going to dry your lens off and before I check for inspect for blemishes, I'm going to use my optical grade acetone to wipe away any optical debris that the sticker, that adhesive sticker may have put on the lens. I'm going to clean all that off. Now I'm going to dry and by the way, you will be seeing the Ray-Ban cleaning cloth that comes with the case. I'm also going to include one of mine with instructions on how to care for both cleaning cloths and the Italian leather Ray-Ban case. It'll last you for years. No other seller on the internet does that. Perfect. I also include a photo request with every frame I send out. I got the idea from my barber shop when I saw all the pictures of the heads that he had cut. I decided to do the same thing when patients came to pick up their prescription lenses now a couple years later. I have hundreds if not thousands of smiling faces on several digital picture frames. Because I can't take your picture, that's why I ask for you to send me a picture of your selfie so you can brag to your friends that you are a Ray-Ban model on my website. You don't have to. Feel free to decline, but I'm going to ask because there's no one else out there offering you these services and I'm very proud of the work that I do. So keep me in mind for the photo request or ignore it completely. Whatever's easier for you, it works for me both ways. So this whole process takes about 20 minutes. It's now 8.14 on Wednesday, May 28th. 
88 degrees in my hometown of Durham, North Carolina, at least according to my Samsung Gear 2 watch. So I'm going to take it out of the Chuck, the Charles. I'm going to dry the lens off back over to the handstone. Put on the safety bevel. Back to drying your lens off perfectly. Now let's get the left lens mounted. I'm going to tuck it in at the outside corner closest to me. Then using my thumbs, I press down at the nose. It snaps in perfectly. I'm going to take this block off since it is no longer needed. Pull that sticker off. Dry your lens. And of course, one last time with the optical acetone. Now, 99% of all optical shops will do free adjustments if you ask them. So if you get these in your... If this frame is a little loose or a little tight or if it sits high on one side, which is quite possible because 80% of people have one ear that's higher than the other, and I'm no exception, I press down, there's no wobble. When I put mine down on the counter, you can see my right ear is lower than my left, so that's why they wobble on the counter, but they sit level on me. I'm going to make sure your frame is in a three-point stance, one, two, and the bottom of the frame being three. I press down right there, no wobble, I flip it over, there is no wobble. I close each temple to make sure they overlap perfectly and the same amount of tension on each side. So that's that. This with your lens is clear. No prescription in the top and the plus 175 reading in the bottom. Hopefully the optical illusion you can see the letters being magnified as I move in front. These are your clear lenses. I'm going to go ahead and turn them dark by exposing them to a strong burst of UV light. Don't worry that is not blood in the corner that is ink for my lensometer that spilled. Now, as you will see, all transition lenses will get dark on day one. This is important, Bob. Remember this. They're going to continue to darken every day for the first two weeks until they get to their final setting. After that, providing they're exposed to the sun every day for the first two weeks. Once they reach their final setting, they will work for years with maximum performance. The only time they will not work is if you're inside of a car, a traditional car with a windshield. Your windshield absorbs all the sun's harmful ultraviolet rays that would cause your upholstery to rot or your dashboard to crack from sitting in the sun. That's why they will not darken. Now, if you have a convertible or a motorcycle, they will darken. And they also work best when it's uh, 85 degrees and below. Once it gets into the mid-90s and especially triple digits, they just don't get as dark as they do when it's 85 and below. I like to remind everyone when it's 100 degrees, you're miserable. Your glasses are miserable. No one likes to work 100% when you're that hot and miserable. So that is it. That is your lens is dark. And don't worry, Bob, they will continue to darken every day for the first two weeks till they get to their final setting. If anyone else has any questions about what I can and can't do, just email me at freeprescriptionlenses at gmail.com. And Bob, I hope you enjoyed watching as I cut your bifocal transition lenses for your Ray-Ban new Wayfair 2132, size 55, color 901, the classic shiny black. And everyone else out there got the chance to see how I bring that love and feeling back to glasses. Thank you.